Jerry Stenlin. My wife and I came to Costa Rica in 1994. My wife wanted to go organic and this coffee farm is certified bird friendly organic coffee farm. It's the only one in Costa Rica. It's the only one ever in Costa Rica. For bird friendly you need more shade. You need like about 80 percent, 75 to 80 percent shade depending on where where you're located and how much, how cloudy of a weather you might have. And also you need to have 10 different species of trees within a 25 yard radius of circle. And you cut all the trees down, the plant is not healthy, you don't have the quality of coffee. So you, with the shade grown, you definitely have a better quality coffee. Probably I produce someplace between 800 to 1,000 pounds of pure coffee. I will make this year right around $600. That's putting in about 400 hours of work. So you can see I don't make very much money. For us, it's basically a labor of love. Not that I was a skeptic on, on uh, organic, I just didn't, I wasn't educated. Mm -hmm. it's, and that's how a lot of people are. But as I got more into it, I mean, I did most of the manual labor and everything, but, and as I got into it, watching the system work is amazing. It's like learning to take care of myself. The, the local people benefit in, in a couple of different ways. Uh, first of all, I use local people to pick the coffee. When I do need help, which is very seldom, uh, I will hire someone from the community. So that's helping him. You know, maybe two or three times a year, maybe, you know, for two or three days uh, at the max. Uh, we talked with Marvin, he's just one of the pickers in the coffee farm. Right now, this is the end of the pick, so there's not a lot of coffee to be picked. We asked him the question, what he thought. He thought he would get four to five koalas, and I basically paid them around two dollars per koala. So he's going to make someplace around ten dollars. Most of the time, during the, the, the first two picks, uh, he would double that. The coffee business is a very tough business. It's like the eight people that were in our group last year. Well, the seven of them dropped out. Not because they wanted to, you know, not because their heart didn't want to. It's the dollar bit, it's the money. They can make more money going conventional. Now, when they changed, because all these people to become organic, they had to go through a three-year transition period. In other words, if I started from day one, said, okay, I'm, I'm going to start and I'm, I want to be organic. Last year I put chemicals on it. I have to go three years to clean out my soil before I can be certified organic. Somehow we have to get more people doing the same thing. Changing from conventional picking to organic, where organic you need red beans you know you want all red beans that's going to be your best coffee and they used to allow a certain amount of green and and so if you were used to picking red and green both you could strip a plant and you could really pick a lot really fast and now all of a sudden they're saying hey you got to just pick red well they're not going to make as much money
a lot of people have, have trees. But what they do, they cut the trees, and I mean cut everything. They cut every one of these limbs off. Every once in a while there'll be a, a new little tree that I haven't seen. I'll let that grow to see what happens to it. And even if it's a weed, I'll let a weed grow to see, okay, what birds does this attract? Holy jeepers, I was going to cut that tree, and here, here the parrots are eating some of the seeds off of it. I said, well, I can't cut that tree. <laughs> you know. Probably the greatest thing is that right down the bottom of the hill here, at the bar down there, there's a well. And it's the well for the community. So, all of my, my property right here, which is only a very small area of the watershed for this whole area, but there's no chemicals coming out of this property. So, I am, you know, for sure the watershed is a little cleaner you know, the water because, or purified a little better, because I don't use chemicals. And we are the only coffee farm in Costa Rica that is certified bird friendly. And to be bird friendly, you can't use chemicals. That's really where it's at. You can't use chemicals. For fertilizing the coffee farm, I have, well, I guess it's really one method. I do composting of esterical, which is horse manure, and also do composting of chicken manure. And the system does work. Every year I always uh, find more d different birds and identify different birds in the coffee farm. Now, we had never seen a Baltimore Oriole here. After our first or second year, all of a sudden we saw a Baltimore Oriole. Next year, two or three. When those flowers disappear, the Baltimore Oriole disappears. He takes off. He goes back to Baltimore, I guess. <laughs> we sell our coffee to a processing plant called Lomas Al Rio. Oh, 
Entonces tu es trigo y más pues, baja por la colina de arroz trañado.